Hello and welcome to my new format of podcast called Innovation. Innovation was inspired by my previous podcast, Silence, where over the course of two years, I spoke weekly with 100 women from science, technology, engineering and mathematics, or STEM. I deliberately kept my guests anonymous so that they could talk openly and honestly about their lives. And we really did discuss absolutely everything from their experiences, what they've learned along their life journeys, and their hopes and ideas for living fulfilling and contented lives. The conversations on silence were always so raw and transparent and honest, and surprisingly, not just about STEM, but about absolutely everything. The topics that tended to come up are topics that I always discuss with my friends or my family or my mentees ask me about or people will come up to me at the end of a talk I've given and ask me to expand on. So I thought rather than keep these topics closed, how about throwing them out into the world via this podcast and let everyone hear and engage in issues that are clearly important to all of us. So what I've done is I've sifted through all past episodes of Silence to bring you my favourite sound bites on certain topics. Each week on Innovation, I'll be reflecting on the talking points that came up on my conversations on Silence and actually share with you the pearls of wisdom that came out from them and those conversations. I've selected sound bites that I find particularly provoking, inspiring and empowering and I hope that they resonate with you too. This week is all about recognition. So first of all, what are my thoughts on recognition? Well, if I'm being really, really honest, a lot of my decisions about my career and the things that I've got involved with and the choices I've made have been because I've been trying to gain recognition in some form or another. Whether that's recognition from my parents or recognition from my followers, or recognition from my friends. I've always done things to essentially look good in front of an audience. And uh, that's not an easy thing to admit, and it's kind of cringe that I'm saying it out loud. But if I'm really, really honest, that's been my truth, that I've always needed to be validated from the outside world. And the reason why I bring it up as a topic is because the recognition that I have been seeking comes on many different levels. There's the recognition that most of us seek uh, if we're on social media because we want our lives to be liked or um, to be seen to be cool or that kind of thing. But there's also recognition of wanting to be good at something, wanting to be, wanting to do something well. Um, But then there's also the recognition that is expected from society. I mean, generally, we are expected to work and we are expected to be successful and we are expected to look cool and we are expected, I don't know, to somehow live a fulfilling and contented life. And as a result, I think many of us feel some kind of pressure to be recognised for doing that. And... My first quote from episode 39 is from a woman who acknowledges that often women in society have to work harder to be recognised amongst men. And I include this quote because I really feel like we are living in a very male-dominated society and so often... We are having to really prove ourselves because we are in a minority. And I think recognition in that regard is something I really relate to because I have been in a minority on so many different levels, in so many different genres. And as a result, I think my need for recognition has come as a result of needing to prove myself because there aren't too many people that are doing the same thing. And so there's been this need to stand out because I've always been so unconventional. And so when I was talking to my guest from episode 39, it was really good to acknowledge that probably some of my need for recognition is because I come from a minority group being female in STEM. 
So I felt that we have to actually work extremely hard or harder than my male academic in order to get uh, the recognition. Um, just because of the policy nowadays that all we have to promote the female academic to go to uh, to become professor or whatnot because of this idea mm. of political correctness. You know, in that regard, I think seeking recognition is actually a really good thing because in wanting to be recognised for being in a minority and for being a bit different and unconventional, you actually trailblaze, you actually set the path for people who might be following in your footsteps Particularly women in STEM, I feel there are so few of us that are actually recognised that by seeking recognition from the public, it just means that many girls feel that actually if someone else has done it before them, then maybe, maybe they can do it too. And so whilst seeking recognition can often be frowned upon, I think sometimes seeking recognition can actually be for the greater good, can actually be something that's used to change stereotypes and convention and break tradition. And so for anyone that feels a little bit guilty or a little bit ashamed for seeking recognition, which, you know, I'm going to be honest, I felt a little bit weird about going onto a public platform because maybe I was being narcissistic or needing attention. But actually, I can honestly say hand on heart that I use recognition for having done quite unconventional things in order to help other people believe that they can do that too. Sometimes it can be really shocking being untraditional and being unstereotypical. This from episode 67. You're studying and you say, oh, mechanical engineering the shock yeah. like yeah. the true yeah. shock on their faces oh my god i'm so surprised how could you ever be studying that that's so difficult like that's so amazing for you and it's like thank you like i'm glad that i'm getting some recognition because it is hard and like it's i'm like pushing through and it's tough but also like why are you so shocked and what did you expect from me like <laughs> that i was studying it's so interesting because the girls from episode 67 are young and they're a team of mechanical engineers and none of them look like stereotypical engineers. And so it was so interesting hearing their take on people being shocked at what they were doing because even in this day and age, I still think people don't think that women can be engineers. And that's just so wrong. I've met such amazing female engineers. And so being recognized for being different even if you do create shock and awe and positive uh, disbelief is a really great thing you know single-handedly those girls are changing the record and so in that case recognition is so important but you know having the guts to be able to change the record isn't easy and it does take a lot of guts and a lot of courage and what I found in my experience is that when I have exercised that courage um, to try and be heard and be seen, I've often been torn down for seeking attention and for being self-centered and for um, seeking the limelight kind of thing. And yeah, I guess seeking recognition can be interpreted that way but I know that what has always been driving me well not always I'll be a bit more transparent I was probably driven by ego in the beginning um, seeking a career in television but what has kept me in television and what has driven me to do things like Crash Course um, has actually been a genuine need to help other people get educations and I think it's taken guts and I think it's taken courage and you know my guest in episode 73 talks about what happens when you don't have those characteristics and what it can lead to and opportunities that can be missed if you don't have courage and strength. 
I think it's it's very personal. I could have pushed for a promotion and greater recognition earlier. I could have, but for for reasons of my own um, family history and self perception and sort of lack of confidence mm. in in myself, not just because of my gender, I didn't. Mm. I don't think it's recognition that should be driving people to have the courage and to have the bravery and the strength to be ambitious. I think it's really important to have those driving factors to succeed for your own self. I think it's really important to strive to be the best person you can be for you. And that's why this topic appears on innovation, because it's all about developing the inner self doing things because you genuinely want to feel good within yourself, to feel proud of what you've achieved, to fulfill yourself with your own achievements. And I think um, wanting to have recognition from the outside, from your, from friends, from family, from, I don't know, other people watching you isn't necessarily the best driving force. I think wanting to have personal recognition to be the best personal version of yourself is really, really important. So recognition is useful. It can do good. Um, it can change the record. It can change stereotypes. It can smash through old ideas. But it shouldn't be the driving factor for success, for contentment, for inner fulfillment. That should all come from within. And if you can do things and you're driven by yourself, you're driven by a need to be the best version of yourself, I think that's the best ambition you can find. And so I'll leave you with this last quote from episode 43, where she talks about what's driving her. And I must say, I really agree with her. I really want to. Um, make sure I never get caught up in or influenced by um, kind of materialistic factors because from what I've seen I don't think it brings families joy I don't think it brings communities joy it just brings recognition which in and of itself is not very meaningful so in closing then, it looks like we all do want to be successful. We all want to be loved for something that we can produce or be or are. You know, you know, we want our we want our very existence to be somehow recognized or acknowledged. And I think that's okay. But I don't think we should ever ever be driven by external validation or superficial goals. I think it's most important to want to recognise who we are as individuals. It's most important that we know how amazing we are in our own selves, in our own skin. And I think if that can be your driving factor, a need to be the best version of yourself, and that you're able to recognise that you are being the best version of yourself, then that is where true contentment and fulfillment and recognition lies. I think trying to please others, trying to earn the acknowledgement of others can be very alluring. It can bring kind of instant gratification, but it's not a lasting fulfillment. And so ask yourself, what is driving you? Ask yourself whether you're proud of who you are, whether you recognize that you're awesome. And if you're not, strive to be better. And if you're not happy with who you are, change. But seeking external recognition is probably not the way to go. But seeking internal recognition with yourself is. 
Thanks for listening. Please do subscribe to this podcast and maybe even write a review if you can. I'd love to have your feedback about this episode or any others that you've listened to and maybe some suggestions for future topics on this show. It's all about self-discovery and evolution on innovation. So if there are any issues which you feel are holding you back, I'd love to delve into that by drawing upon the wisdom and experiences of my amazing guests from silence. Be kind and loving to yourselves and I wish you all a great week.